One of the biggest questions after Friday's Starship launch was why SpaceX took so long to activate the flight termination system and destroy the rocket. Well, after some conversations, I think I have an answer. This photo by Jack Bayer shows the flight termination system as a couple of boxes. They contain explosives and they're able to knock a hole in the tank. Now watch the tumbling booster as it acquires a new leak in the second stage and then seconds later the first stage. So if the flight termination system just knocks a hole in the tanks and doesn't cause enough mixing of fuel and oxygen and spark to cause an explosion, the tanks will just leak out and lose pressure over time. We have big tanks, small holes and potentially new pressure being injected to maintain the tank pressure. But the pressure will eventually begin to drop and with it the pressure stabilization effect on the tanks, making them less rigid as the aerodynamic forces build up until the vehicle breaks up. And from initiation to breakup that took about 50 seconds.